everyone. Welcome to another Book Review Wednesday and today I thought it would be interesting to discuss something that is a little bit more general as opposed to a particular book for this book review. So I'm going to be discussing fairy tales and uh, yes I'll be addressing um, the fairy tales that were written by Brothers Grimm, Hans Christian Andersen, um, all of those, um, and sort of kind of sum them all together in, uh, in one big category, which is fairy tales. Um, now, fairy tales are unique in that they revolve around being in the fantasy genre of um, literature, but uh, I think there's something unique about them. Uh, and interesting about them and I thought it would be interesting to discuss these things and so I'm going to kind of give you a layout as to um, why I think in particular fairy tales are fairly unique um, compared to a lot of other stories and a lot of other genres um, of literature. Now what is, I find fascinating about fairy tales is, is usually they always have some kind of dark element in them, whether it be somebody trying to harm somebody or kill somebody, whether it be um, bad happening to the villain um, in sort of a cruel and twisted way. Um, for example, if you look at fairy tales that, um, for example, Cinderella, uh, her, the sisters chopping off their toes at the end to try to fit into the slippers, um, which again wasn't the fairy original work on, but was in the Brothers Grimm version. Um, you also have, um, again, in, in the other, um, in the other fairy tales, Snow White, where you have the um, stepmother getting basically burned with shoes and dying from it. Um, so yeah, there's always some kind of, usually, th this is just a pattern I've noticed in fairy tales. Not all fairy tales go for the very dark angle, but I found that the majority of them do. Um, if look no further than Red Riding Hood or even The Little Mermaid, you know, it, it seems like a lot of them do put in some very disturbing uh, and very odd and twisted um, angles to them and incorporate them into the story. So um, I don't know if this was done for cultural reasons or if it was just done as a means to sort of showcase um you, you know the the uh, the the horrors of um going up against uh, evil which is i think uh, something the fairy tales really emphasize which i will get to which is in another point uh later on in this video but it seems like a good chunk of the fairy tales do get some dark, strange, weird elements in there that make it so that it's not as um, full of happy sunshine, but pretty much kind of balances them out because, again, it does focus on the really good and evil um, angles. So, with that being said, Another thing that I've noticed when it comes to fairy tales is, is uh, a lot of them are centered around romance. Sleeping Beauty, perfect example, Snow White, Cinderella, um, Beauty and the Beast, uh, The Little Mermaid, they all have some kind of romance within them. Um, usually the romance is not as logical um, and it's not designed to give you an actual understanding of how 
romantic relationships are developed in real life. More of it's just designed to um, get you the feelings and the emotions that surround uh, such a relationship and not focusing on the relationship itself. Um, because again, that the relationships uh, within these uh, fairy tales aren't really all that developed. And again, I will even say Disney developed their um, their uh, their romances actually more than what the original fairy tales uh, stories did. Um, so again, it's I think it's definitely hard when you're trying to make an adaptation and stray so far away from the source material in that it doesn't resemble anything that was originally put into the source material. So, um, so I think that's, that's why, uh, you can say that a lot of fairy tales do, um, end up incorporating within adaptations this kind of focus on the feelings of love rather than the actual logic based around forming, uh, that bond. So, again, like I said before, it's a fairy tale. It's not designed to be real, doesn't reflect anything onto reality, but the emotions are something that we all can maybe identify with. So that's what these uh, romances in a lot of these fairy tales were designed to do and not really display so much logic within it. Um, so yeah, I think that's a, a very interesting point because usually you don't see a genre unless it's the romance genre, which I don't even think you could consider romance uh, a genre since pretty much they all end up just being um, uh, just like really not well thought out um, <laughs> romances. So, um, yeah, I think fairy tales were really the first to kind of really uh, make that a sort of a, a center focus um, because, you know, usually um, books didn't really revolve around that. Usually um, books treated it as more of a side plot uh, romance and not really the center focus or, or, uh, or, a, or a change happening because of uh, a romantic love. So, again, um, that's, I think, something uh, important to note. Um, and I find it interesting that a lot of these fairy tales have sort of developed the kind of same pattern of going along with this idea of we're going to focus on romance, but at the same time, we're not going to do it in a realistic way. We're going to do it in an emotional fashion. Um, so, that being said, uh, my second, uh, my third point that I wanted to mention is, is, is fairy tales, um, they're very black and white, uh, if you've noticed. A lot of the fairy tales are designed to be completely, um, completely good versus evil. Um, no really, um, no really sense of shades of gray, just mostly focused on the bad and the good and how the bad is twisted and um, on some levels even sadistic, you know, evil, manipulative, and then the good is full of innocence, kindness, and charm, and uh, sort of sophistication. Um, so that's prime and, and beauty too. Uh, so that's primarily how, how, uh, how fairy tales handle this, um, this world that they try to create. They create the evil and they create the good. They don't try to incorporate shades of gray. Now, some people might be saying, well, that doesn't allow for a lot of development. And that sort of leads to my second point in that there is not a whole lot of development with fairy tales. Reason being is, is fairy tales are usually fairly short. 
they don't go on for a really long time. They're not like a full fleshed out book. They're just short books or short stories. Not even novellas, I think you could consider them. They're just kind of just short stories. Um, but the reason why is, is, is primarily fairy tales were for children. It's the reason why I think Walt chose to make a fairy tale as his first film because he knew that that film uh, that uh, genre has had a particular uh, I guess you could even call it subgenre fairy tales because they're part of the fantasy uh, genre that had a really huge hold on our culture and has sort of been passed down from generation to generation and uh, so. Again, that's why he took something that was sort of supposed to be timeless. Um, so that's, I think, something important to understand is, is that the characters are not as developed. There's not a whole lot of structure to them. And the reason being is, is because um, they're not designed to be long stories. They're not um, focused on trying to give you an in-depth understanding of something. Rather, they're trying to point out sort of these kinds of simple truths um, that kids can relate to. Uh, so that's why um, these fairy tales are designed in the way that they're designed. Um, and again, that's why there's not a whole lot of development with the romance either, because again, short amount of time. Also, um, they don't... Uh, they... They again use the romance more for uh, emotion and not for putting in any realism into that um, romance or relationship. So that's something I think that's important to note. And I think people seem to miss because they, they think that somehow that makes fairy tales bad because they don't do the things that other genres of books do in that that they go into extensive amount of depth they always you know revolve around some kind of fairly large logical scenario you know or you have all of these different characters that intertwine with one another mm -hmm. um and although those are fascinating too it's nice to sometimes have something that's a little bit more simplified and again focuses more on emotion rather than logic um so that's why i think in particular people don't really understand fairy tales and they put them with a blank slate and say oh no they're just they're just these little little crazy wacky stories that um that uh you know that uh, don't have any any value when if you look a little bit more closely you'll see that it's just pointing out some simple truths and it's not trying to provide this deep um, deep constructed meaning it's just trying to be um, a simple story showcasing characters and then maybe have some moral emotional framework attached to that it's not designed to be this depth in depth complex you know character study or a a uh, a plot scenario that goes from here to here to here it's just designed to be structured in a more simple format you have the characters you have the simple story the end that's it that's all you have to work with um so yeah i i just think that fairy tales they're they're different and uh i think that's why what people don't understand them is just because they they go off um in this different direction than what a lot of stories do now which is provide more depth provide more explanations provide more blah 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 and i don't think i don't think uh i don't i don't believe that um, that just because you show more, it, it ends up meaning more. I just think that, uh, it just depends on how, it just depends on how you're trying to execute a story. And again, fairy tales are doing a way different thing than what a lot of stories, uh, are doing now. Um, and I think that's really the social disconnect that people have with them.
Um, and, uh, and I think, though, that's really pretty much uh, summing up fairy tales. There's always, also I should mention that, again, since it is within the fantasy realm, there's usually some magic associated with them. Um, there's usually some kind of, uh, of, um, of, uh, mystical elements within there. Uh, there's a lot of things that, again, don't make a whole lot of sense, are a little bizarre or a little strange. Um, but that's kind of why I like them. I like them because they're strange. I like how they try to make things not as not as uh, logical in the sense of how you would envision something in real life. And that's why I think uh, fairy tales are so in interesting because they're fantasy. They're, they're, uh, they're part of uh, establishing the fantasy genre. Um, and I think that uh, fairy tales should be given that sort of credit. Uh, in that they did focus on things that, even though they were simplified, they allowed for um, other fantasy stories to sort of take shape. Um, and I think there's a lot to enjoy with them. There's a lot to laugh at. There's a lot to make fun of. And at the same time, there's there's a lot to, to enjoy um, and to take in. Um, and uh, a lot that can be interesting. It's just sometimes, you know, especially when you, if, if you look at the um, fairy tales that I discussed when I was discussing my book versus movie um, Disney reviews, you will see how that contrast is, is really, um, is, is, is really uh, emphasized. Um, so, I think, though, that's really ultimately all I can really say in regards to fairy tales. Uh, they are interesting. They, they, again, like I said before, they're interesting. They have, they're going for a different angle than what a lot of other stories do nowadays. Um, and I understand if there's some people who might be annoyed by them because there's just a lot of bizarre things where you just go, what? Why did that happen? What was that? Why was that necessary? But I, I just kind of laugh at it and go, <laughs> it's a fairy tale. Um, so uh, I, I think, again, and I'm not trying to validate a uh, fairy tale's excuse for being simplified, but I think, again, it's going for something different. It's not what... Uh, it's not the way how we structure literature now. And I find it interesting how these fairy tales sort of took a different direction and uh, sort of tried to be more on the artistic side, more on the romanticism side, um, than uh, trying to be super, super, super in-depth and developed and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think... Um, I think they, they're they're good for what they are, um, but ultimately I think that's really all I can say about them. They all seem to have these similar patterns, like I've been mentioning. Um, again, not all of them follow these patterns, but interchangeably, um, a lot of the fairy tales do. So yeah, I think though that's really ultimately all I can say. But again, if there are any questions, comments, concerns, be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year, and I hope to see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.